Hi everyone, in this video we will see that how we can construct wafer chart in Excel with the help of scatter plots. So for example, here we have 55% and we can visualize 55% in this wafer chart as well. Let's change this percent to 23%. So you can see that our wafer chart also got updated and now 23 out of 100 blocks have been colored dark blue. Now let's change this percent to 77%. So you can see that 77% uh, area from this wafer chart has been colored dark blue. Right. So this is how wafer chart works. And now we will jump into the logics and the detailed explanation of how you can construct this wafer chart right from scratch in Excel. So first of all, let's see the logic behind the construction. So here we have the Cartesian plane in which on the X axis as well as on the Y axis, we have 10 points each and we wish to plot some coordinates on this plot right so uh, as a first step what we will do is we will first assume that we want to construct a wafer chart for 100 percent of the area right so what we will do is we will plot corresponding points for each of these uh, points on y-axis as well as x-axis right so our coordinates will be like 1 comma 1 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1, 4 comma 1, 5 comma 1, etc. till 10 comma 1. Then next set will become 1 comma 2, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 2 and till 10 comma 2. Right. Likewise for each of the corresponding points. Correct. So this is a 100% coverage. Then our next step will be to uh, get a percent for uh, how much how much of the area we wish to cover uh, on this wafer chart so let's say we wish to cover this 20 percent area so what we will do is we will uh, plot those points with uh, some different color on this cartesian plane so uh, first point will be 1 comma 1 then 2 comma 1 3 comma 1 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 comma 1 right then next set will be 1 comma 2 2 comma 2 3 4 5 6 se 7 8 9 and 10 comma 2 right so uh, these are the 20 points out of these 100 points which will be colored differently right in order to generate that wafer chart pattern so how to get this thing done and uh, get these numbers actually uh, in mathematical form so we will now look have a look at that thing so now let's insert another sheet and uh, let's switch to selection mode and let's first write the percentage that we wish to plot on this on that wafer chart so let's say 20 percent as our next step what we want to do is we want to get a combination of the points on the x-axis and the y-axis and plot them right so let's say our ordinate is x1 and our coordinate is y1 right so on the x-axis our uh, our pattern was like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 9 10 then again 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 9 10 and that pattern was repeated 10 times then on the y-axis our pattern was like um uh, 1 1 1 1 1 repeated 10 times then 2 2 2 repeated 10 times etc till uh till 10 right 10 repeated 10 times so how we can generate that pattern so if you wish to know more about that thing the logics that have been that i will use here so for that i will attach the link of the video another video of mine in the description below you can check that out but in this video we will not go in depth of that logic but we will directly see how we can generate those patterns here right so as a first step what we will do is we will generate a sequence of 100 rows right so we have here uh, numbers from 1 to 10 1 to 100 and uh, let's just uh, generate a pattern here of uh, a, a pattern as we here generate a pattern as we discussed so for that purpose we will use the mod function again I will not discuss the logic here and let's just do one thing let's start our sequence from 0 and as our divisor we will specify 10 here and at the end we will do a plus 1 close the bracket press enter and you can see that we have generated successfully generated a pattern of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 till the end uh, m means it is this pattern is repeated 10 times right now let's do the same thing for y but uh, different kind of pattern so we will just drag this down and in, in place of mod function we will use question function so equals to question press enter and you can see that we have successfully generated this pattern as well and till 10 right so we have generated these two patterns 
for our uh, first assumption right that our coverage is 100 percent now our coverage has to be 20 percent so what we will do is we will have another set of points so let's say our ordinate this time is x2 and our coordinate is y2 so now what we will do is again we will generate a sequence of equals to sequence of 100 rows for x2 and same thing for y2 right uh, sorry yeah now we wanted a coverage of 20 percent here so for 20 of these points right so 20 20 of these points for x2 and y2 we will get our ordinates and coordinates from x1 and y1 respectively but for rest of these points that is from 21 till 100 what we will do is we will pass a an error so in excel if we have to pass a nothing in a chart uh, we usually give an any error why because if we don't do that uh, we our chart will go for a toss and we will not get our desired result so again we will use the if condition here so our condition will become equals to if our numbers from this if our numbers from this sequence are greater than uh, we will round this percent to uh, zero decimal places right and uh, as this is in percent we will multiply this by 100 so if our sequence if our numbers from this sequence are greater than round right round as our number we will specify this percent into 100 and we will round to zero decimal places close the bracket uh, if this is the situation then we want an any error uh, and if this is not true uh, if this is not if this is false okay so we want our points from x1 right so we will uh, pass on this uh, array here close the bracket press enter and we got our desired uh, result as per our condition so any error from 21 till 100 we will again copy this same uh, condition for y2 as well and we will change the cell reference here right so again same thing for here uh, for y2 as well now as a final step what we will do is we will plot this chart, a chart we will plot a scatter plot chart with these points so we will select uh, all these points uh, go to insert click on uh, this scatter plot chart and select this one correct now uh, increase its height and increase its width remove the grid lines uh, these are not required and we can also remove uh, these axes as well now if you notice one thing here we actually don't require this x2 here right you can see that uh, these blue points cover the unwanted uh, coverage area and these gray points cover the wanted area that is uh, wanted coverage of 20 percent right we don't want these orange points here that is we don't want this x2 here so we can omit this as well so what we can do is we will select these here and press delete right so uh, in our chart now if we select these points you can see that x2 is not there correct and we can actually remove this from here as well so control minus right and, and we are getting uh, the correct result right now uh, one thing more we have to do is we will again remove this legend here and uh, one more thing that has to be done is that plot area the plot area is not equidistant from this uh, chart area right so for that what we can do is we will again subtract 0.5 from each of these points right x1 y1 and y2 so minus 0.5 right then again minus 0.5 minus 0.5 and again minus so this, this y2 is linked with this y1 so we don't require to uh, subtract uh, 0.5 from this thing right so we as you can see that now it is equidistant from uh, the plot area is now equidistant from the chart area so now we will select this chart here go to format and uh, click on uh, this series y1 click on format selection go to this fill option marker marker options and uh, for this type we will change this to this uh, uh, type as a square and increase the size to let's say 25 right press enter and for fill uh, we will use solid fill and as our color we will specify this color right and border no line correct and now we will change uh, series uh, we will format series y2 again built in type 
again square and uh, let's change the size to 25 press enter and for our fill we will specify solid fill and again uh, this color and border no line correct so uh, we have formatted the major part of this chart now only small things are left so what we will do is we will again link this chart title to so we will come in the formula bar and write equals to and uh, link this chart title to this uh, cell here press enter and we will format this go to home tab make it bold increase the font size change font type to let's say uh, agency fb and uh, let's go to format and let's change the word word uh, word style so uh, let's make it like this right and now let's have a border for our chart as well so again shape outline and let's specify this and change the weight to let's say four and a half points uh, let's increase the font size of uh, our chart title to let's say 32 just a second and let's increase the height of our chart and reduce the width a bit as well so now we are ready with our waffle chart and let's try and test this by changing the value from 20 percent here to let's say uh, 66 percent so as you can see now it is working successfully and uh, we have successfully constructed a waffle chart uh, with the help of scatter plots in excel so that's it for this video this is how you can plot a waffle chart in excel so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if if you want more such videos like this one please do subscribe to the channel. I will attach the link of this complete workbook in the description below. Also you can plot this uh, same chart with the help without the help of sequence function. So I will again uh, attach this that worksheet as well in the description box that is with and without the use of sequence function. Right. And you can also find the link to that video in which we have explained how to generate the sequential patterns uh, in detail with logic. So I will attach the link to that video as well in the description below. So that's it for this video. I hope to see you in uh, more such videos, more such upcoming videos like this one. Right. Thank you and have a good day.